We had a nighttime flight to Detroit, which means we got here pretty late. So what that mean? I DoorDash Coney Island. I got it, let's try it, and ready with a 10. For the people who aren't from Detroit, Coney Island is a staple. And it's a bunch of different Coney Islands, so I kinda equate it to like a bodega in New York. Again, I had to DoorDash this because it's late. I wasn't going to no Coney Island this late. I got kids. <laughs> Before the Coney Island war start, I'ma go to a bunch of Coney Islands while I'm here. This was the closest one to me, and it was the only one that was open right now. Before y'all start. I don't know smoke. I spent $60.21. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we're gonna try it and rate it with the 10. Chili cheese fries, a Greek chicken salad, two grilled chicken pitas, and a corned beef sandwich. As you can see, the corned beef sandwich I ordered came as a hamburger. <laughs> Again, it's late. I ain't even mad. We're gonna start with the grilled chicken pita. It did not look like this on the pictures at all. Just off of looks, it's a lot more pita than it is toppings. Off of experience, I know this isn't the best chicken pita I'ma get, but it's pretty good. It is a lot of flavor, but it's a lot more pita than it is toppings for me. I'm a little above average. This is a 6.5 out of 10 for me. Next up, chili cheese fries. I remember chili cheese fries being with this crinkle cut. I know each coney do it different, but... Mm -mm. I'm very particular when it comes to fries. I'm even more particular when it comes to chili cheese fries. And it's not my personal favorite. The fries itself aren't seasoned, and I'm not really a huge fan of this chili. Personally, I'm at a 3 out of 10. Last but not least, the Greek salad. I'm not going to try the burger because I didn't order the burger. And also, it don't look that appetizing to me. And again, I ain't ate all day, so I really want to eat things I think I'm going to like. Mm. To me, don't nothing really taste fresh, but the chicken is really seasoned. Mm. That's not the worst salad I've ever had, but it's not the best. For me personally, that's average. Five out of 10. It's what you expect for late night takeout. It's not bad, but I'm just excited to be home. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm taking this grilled chicken pita with this sauce. And tomorrow, we everywhere. God bless you, have an amazing day, y'all be safe. Mm -hmm. I'm in Detroit with my family and I got this message from this food truck. I got it, let's try it and rate it one to 10. We spent about $30. We put up in this on Michigan Ave in Eugene. But the customer service, fired. I had my sister order on the phone under an alias, so they had no idea who he was. But when we pulled up, my sister got out. Again, they didn't recognize my sister, but the first thing they said was this food been sitting here for a minute, so we gonna remake everything. I love customer service like that. Customer service for me, 9.5 out of 10. I'm gonna show you everything I got, and we gonna try it and rate it one to 10. A steak crunch wrap supreme with hot Cheetos on the side. They said you can get the hot Cheetos on it or on the side. It's optional. Three burrito turbos, three burrito tacos, two consommes, and he threw in three turbo sauces. This is the house made sauce that they known for. This is the crunch wrap supreme. The turbo sauce, like I said, is the house made sauce. And they put it on everything and it's shredded steak. They asked me if I wanted the hot Cheetos on it. I put it on the side just to be safe. I want to see what the actual crunch wrap hitting on first. Tuck them to the side. Mmm, -hmm. we don't even need the hot Cheetos. I'm gonna try it just in case. Me personally, I don't eat hot Cheetos, so the hot Cheetos I can do without. But this is spicy, it's creamy, it's crunchy. That meat is seasoned to perfection in my eyes. This is really hot for me. This is a 9.1 out of 10. We starting up here. <laughs> you know, I got my wife with me as always. Keep mm. That's fire, ain't it? I'm going Tim. What would you do to fix it? It's super spicy. I would want a little more sauce and I would want a little more vegetables. A few more peppers to balance the flavor and a little more salt and less spice. And I feel like we had a 10. It's, it's good though, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, it's fire. Ooh, with the consomme. With the consomme, I'm tripping. Look, you see that? <laughs> you know, I almost ate the whole thing. Go to salty element I was looking for. Was the cost made? It's a 9.7 out of 10. Ooh, mm. we. Mm. Mm hmm. We tasted it immediately. Mm hmm. This cost make all kind of flavor in it. Mm. <laughs> These are the Berea Turbos. I think the Berea Turbos are Berea Tacos, but with the turbo sauce on it. Or actually, these might be the Berea Tacos. These are the Berea Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones are the Bria Turbos with the turbo sauce on it. I ain't about to play with these. I'm putting these right into the consomme. When we put up, it was a few people there. Maybe it's the area, but to me, out the dough. I only had one thing so far. Out the dough. It's better. Good God Almighty. 
the spot food truck is the spot. 9.5 out of 10. I'll go down to the other one was a 10 for me. This one I'll go 9. Crispy, cheesy, flavorful. The spot is the spot. They got it. Last but not least, these are the turbos. I'm gonna try it with the turbo sauce. Ooh, that's like a spicy thousand island. They don't hold back on the spices at all. Mm. I ain't mad at it. I'm scared. Hey. Mmm. <laughs> the spice that I can't even talk. <laughs> the sauce did it. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, they got it. Nine point five out of ten. Okay, Detroit. We starting high. I'm gonna say to the spot, I'm appreciative, I'm grateful. Thank you for the invite. That food, crazy. If the line ain't always busy, like maybe we came on a slow day. If the line ain't always busy, I pray and I hope after this, that changes. God bless. There's a new black owned food hall here in Detroit. During the grand opening, there were no news or media outlets here. Even though this is the first food hall in the middle of Detroit. I'm here right now and there's nine restaurants inside this food hall. I got the most popular item from each one. I got it, let's try it, and rate it one through 10. In total, we spent $4,221.44. The name of this is What You Wanna Eat Food Hall. This in Detroit, and when I say in Detroit, this on Six Mile. As always, to maintain the integrity of the food review, I have my sister go grab everything for me. So none of these restaurants even know I'm here. I haven't stepped foot out this car. I got one thing from each restaurant. I'm gonna show you what I got, and we are gonna try it and rate it one through 10. The first thing we got is deep dish apple pie waffle bites from Life is Sweets. This was $10. Waffle bites, ice cream, caramel. I know starting with dessert is crazy, but I don't want this ice cream to melt. This ice cream is super high quality. This waffle is fluffy. It's some saltiness from the caramel. We starting high, 8.5 out of 10. Next up is Poon's Hibachi Grill. We got a steak, rice, and chicken bowl for $30.86. It is a big portion. Like this is my hand for scale. It didn't come with any sauces, but from the looks of it, it looks like it's already pre-sauced. Some rice, some eggs, some onions, some steak, some chicken. Ooh, some seasonings. Mm. I think this needs a sauce on the side. Preferably for me, a spicy sauce. Not super spicy, but like just a little kick. I forgot to rate it. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Next up is a rib plate with mac and cheese and baked beans from Detroit Wild Pit. This was $21.19. Start with the ribs first. I ain't mad at that at all. Hey. Not only am I not mad at that, that's a for show you right on. For me, this is an 8.9 out of 10 baked beans. Hot. Ooh, that's real savory for a baked bean. I feel like baked beans are usually like either really sweet or really salty, but that's very savory. And there's really big cuts of vegetables in here. It's different. It's pineapple in here too. Hey, I need some pineapple. Okay, I don't really like the pineapple with the baked beans personally, but I can see this being somebody's cup of tea, just not mine personally. For me, five out of 10, just the mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Only thing is that the cheese sauce is inconsistent. Some of it has a lot of cheese sauce and some of it don't got cheese sauce at all. And the cheese sauce is the best part. That's where all of the seasoning is in my eyes. Oh, if this cheese sauce was spread evenly over this whole thing, this would be in the nines for me. But as it is, eight out of 10. That cheese sauce is a for show you right off. Next up is a chicken and waffle sandwich with loaded potatoes from Heavenly Waffles. This plate was $25. First, we're gonna do the loaded potatoes. It looks like they diced them, but they real soft. Mm -mm. They are as just as soft as they look, so it's kind of like a mashed potato, but it's really like a chunky mashed potato. It does have flavor, but it's very garlic heavy. The only thing I'm really tasting is now if it was a loaded garlic mashed potato, then I wouldn't be mad. But for a breakfast potato, I'm not a huge fan of that. This is the chicken and waffle sandwich. It's a piece of chicken back here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Those waffles are a little too soft for me to be a sandwich. Like the waffles by themselves would be really good because they are soft and pillowy. But I think when you put a lot of toppings, it kind of makes it mushy and I'm a texture person. Again, Russian and I forgot to rate it. This is a little above average for me. This is a six out of 10. Next up is a jerk salmon bowl from Tickle Your Belly for $23.32. That's what we looking like. They did that. Salty, spicy, saucy, delicious. I like this a lot. 8.9 out of 10. Next up is three fried tacos from Borderline for $15.99. But I do like the crunchiness from the taco and I like the seasonings on the chicken. I also forgot to rate this. This is a seven out of 10 for me. We coming to an end. We only got a few more spots. Next up is a wing box from Wing Fellas. This was $20.92, but they didn't say which flavors they got. They just gave me wings. It came with some fries too. So I'ma just try the wings by itself. I'm assuming it's like a sweet chili or like a sweet heat. 
in Detroit, they do wing dings. And this is spicy. I'm trying to talk, but woo wee. Ooh wee. They got good flavor, but is that spicy? And before the people come who had this before, it was like, it's not that spicy to me. Everybody's spice tolerance is different. I like spice, but I don't like that much spice. I'm assuming it's some kind of barbecue garlic parmesan. Mm. Wait, that's an overload of flavors. It's good, but it's a lot and it's really salty. Garlic parmesan don't come to play. I like the idea of both of them and I can see both of them having a target audience. I'm just not that target audience. For me, for out of tea. And this is a Green Goblin from Your Perfect Blend for $8. Just something about a little cold green smoothie with some fruit in it. Fresh ingredients, cold. It's a smoothie and it's delicious to me. Eight out of 10. Some people might like green smoothies. Some people might not. I love green smoothies personally. Last but not least, we got three burgers from Crazy Gourmet Burger for $69.69. So about $20 a burger. I specifically asked for the most popular item from each place, but I was told the guy at the counter couldn't pick through these three. All three of these are the most popular. We got the Seven Mile Burger. We got the School Crab Burger. And they marked this as the SW Burger. This is like a cheeseburger with mozzarella sticks on it. Mmm. That is a good burger. This is a seven mile burger. This is like a double burger with a fried egg and a bunch of sauce. It's so much sauce. This bottom bread is soggy. Last but not least, the school craft burger. I'm not sure what this is, but y'all tell me. It's a salmon burger and it's delicious. This is my favorite one. First burger with the mozzarella sticks. It was seasoned. The mozzarella sticks was crispy. It was cheesy. I like that. 8 out of 10. The second burger with the fried egg was a little too much for me. It was a bunch of sauce, it was two patties, and it was a fried egg. I know that has a target audience, and I know a lot of people would like that. For a lot of people, that would probably be a 9 to a 9.5. For me, the flavors were a little overwhelming. 5 out of 10. Last but not least, the salmon burger. It was a little spicy, it was seasoned, that salmon tastes super fresh. I'm a big fan of that one. That's my highest rating of the day. 9.2 out of 10. In my opinion, which one of Ifuha should be national news? Keith, I added up every total of the things that you said, and none of that added up to $4,221.44. That's because after I ate, we went to the bank and we put out $4,000 and we tipped every restaurant $200 and left $200 in line for anybody to come get food at every restaurant. We overshot about one. We thought it was 10 restaurants. So 10 restaurants times four, that's 4,000. And the rest of the food was $221.44. I don't even think I understand how iconic it is to be in the middle of Detroit with all these black owned businesses and all these people in here eating and enjoying each other i'm just happy i came and if you plan on coming in my eyes i will come soon if it's in god's plan i feel like every spot in there about to be booming lying out the door god bless you having a welcome to the hood i am not from around here but i stayed down here i kept hearing about this hibachi food truck hood bachi so i stopped and checked them out i pulled up on them at their home base in the hood on finkel and chapel i got it let's try it and ready one through ten hood bachi is in bright mode when they say hood bachi Hood should be capital. I got a steak bowl with rice. I've already started eating it because I'm sitting here with my family. It's a little yum yum sauce. Like I said, I've already been eating this. I already took a bite out of it. They already be booming. That's the only reason I didn't do a full dedicated video. On further inspection, this may still fall in the hidden gems category. It might just be super popular among locals because I found their TikTok and this is their follower account right now. But at the same time, they might just be new on TikTok because this is their IG follower account. I don't know. This might be a word of mouth kind of place. All I do know is I went with no intention on shooting a food review. I was just going with my family just to eat food because I heard it was good. But this food was way too good to not record. I feel like I was doing myself and everybody else a disservice by not showing y'all this food. I just have to turn the camera on. This is delicious. I ain't gonna lie. It's a local business. It's in the hood. They already got the marketing behind them, but more marketing can't hurt because I feel like they should franchise. This food is too good to be in a food truck, in my opinion. The fact they're not in a brick and mortar is crazy to me. It's seasoned. It's creamy. The customer service is amazing. It's a little different because they recognize me immediately, but I genuinely feel like these are genuinely good people. I was so busy eating. I need to rate it. 9.3 out of 10. I'm smashing. They snapped. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. I see why everybody be over here. It's in the hood, though. Resolve.